Hi, I'm Tom from Tom Cycle Recycling and today's video is going to be on how to disassemble and rebuild a dual piston caliper. This is off of a 1982 Honda CB900F. There's calipers on other manufacturers bikes that are very similar so much of what I show you can be applied to those as well. Pistons have already been removed and what's left is the piston seals and the sleeve and boots. So we want to get those off. For this part of the procedure, the disassembly or what's left of it, you don't need much. Basically just an inexpensive pick. First you've got to pry the boots off. And there's the other boot. Here's the sleeve. If you encounter a situation where the sleeve is stuck in place, you want to spray a healthy dose of penetrating oil in there, let it soak for a while. You might have to use a little heat. Try giving it some gentle wax with a hammer just to get it broken free and then push it out. Sometimes it takes a little more force than that. But it's out. This is definitely not a pretty sleeve. You want to clean this up good before you put it back in. And during the rebuild procedure I'll show you why that's important. All you have to do is grab onto the O-rings with the pick. Just pull them out one by one. Now, this is the important part. Look closely in the bore and you're going to see all kinds of white crud built up in the grooves. These O-rings are what do all the work as far as providing a seal and keeping fluid from leaking out and providing a tight fit for the piston for travel. You have to clean these grooves out carefully. You can take a pick like I am and go around and scrape out the bulk of it. Do your best. A lot of times rake spray won't take this out. You gotta really scrape it out good first. The reason this is important is because that crud behind the o-ring has actually caused it to push out a little bit and they're going to reach a point where the piston is going to start to drag. It's going to be so tight it's not going to want to go out or go back in. So that's your focus. Once you've gotten it apart, you want to blow it out good with brake clean spray, get all the old brake fluid out of here, get all the crud out of these grooves. It wouldn't hurt to polish the bore where the sleeve rides, get that cleaned up, and then you'll be ready to rebuild it. For the rebuild procedure, the only tools that you're going to need are the pick that I've been using constantly and some decent marine grade grease. We've got the caliper cleaned up. I refinished it. It's all ready to go. If you look closely you can see the grooves inside the bores here are nice and clean now so it's ready to rebuild. First thing to do is to get these o-rings back in. The thicker one is going to go down below in the larger groove. So you just have to Get it started, work your way around a little bit, and pop it into place. Make sure it's seated properly because the piston won't be able to ride in it if you don't. Then you take the smaller seal, get that started in the top groove, get that one seated as well, and repeat the procedure on the other side. Now one thing I need to say right now is don't go using old O-rings when you rebuild these. They may come out and look fine, but do it right from the start. I say get a new one. Okay, the seals are in place. Everything's looking like it's properly seated. So now it's time to get the pistons in. Now I'm going to say the same thing about pistons as I do about seals. If, if the pistons look good, fine, you can reuse them. But if they're pitted, they're rusty, especially in the top quarter inch or so where they've been sticking out for years, if they're a mess, don't spare the expense. Get new ones. These are your brakes. So the only thing you have to do before you put them in is get a little brake fluid and lubricate these O-rings. So I just use a Q-tip. If you're using a freshly painted or powder coated caliper, you want to be careful not to get the brake fluid on the finish. You don't have to lubricate the bores because the piston is really not sliding in the bore. It's sliding in these O-rings. As I mentioned before, these are doing all the work. All right, we're ready to put the piston in. So you just want to get it placed over the hole. Try to get it nice and square. Start to push down. If it's not straight, it's not going to go in. Once it starts, it goes in. 
Push it all the way in. There's the other one. Done. The reason I say push them all the way in is because now you've reduced the amount of airspace between the back side of the bore and the bottom of the piston. Okay, it's time to put the boots and the sleeve back in. So I'm going to start by taking one of the boots and putting it on the back side here. Just getting it started in the slot. Use my little pick to just finish it up. Take a little grease, give it a little twist. Keep pushing. It's coming out now. At this point, just want to get the lip of the boot into the groove on that sleeve. So once it's in place and everything's in good order, you'll see this action. So that's the nuts and bolts of rebuilding a dual piston caliper. Thanks for watching. Hope to talk to you again soon. Oh, <laughs>